Hey guys. So, um, we're coming here with the law of cosines again. And this time, we're given side, side, side. Okay, so here we go. We're going to draw again. A, B, and C. Okay, we know little a is 4, little b is 7, and little c is 9. Okay, so not a big deal. Again, hopefully it's obvious that we don't have all of the letter because we have no angles. Now, with this, you have to be very particular. Unfortunately, I am dying. I want to use A so bad, but you want to start with the longest side or the biggest side, the biggest number. Okay, you have to, um, or you're not going to get it right. Okay, so I got to find C. So here's the formula C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. Here we go. So we get 9 squared equals 4 squared plus 7 squared. Minus 2 times 4 times 7 cosine C. Now, you got to be very careful. Very, 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 very careful. We're not going to handle this all at once. In fact, we're going to handle it very slowly. Okay. So 9 squared is 81. 16 plus 49 minus. Okay. So here we go. 2 times 4 times 7 is 56 cosine C. Okay, now here you want to be very careful. I can add 16 and 49 together, but there's going to be a part of you who's going to die and want to subtract 56, but we can't. Because 56 is attached to this cosine C. And because this has stuff attached to it, we can't deal with it. Okay, so I'm only going to add 16 and 49 together. So 81 equals 65 minus 56 cosine C. And this is still going to scream, please subtract me. We're not. Okay, we've got to get everything away from this C. So first thing is I'm going to move the 65 over. So 81 minus 65 is 16 equals, please do not drop that negative, cosine C. Now we're going to divide negative 56 over. Okay, we're still not touching my calculator. No, no, no. How do you separate an angle from cosine? Good job. Yes, it's the inverse of 16 over negative 56. Okay, so now we're going to touch the calculator. Inverse cosine of 16 divided by negative 56. And I get 100.6. Hundred six. sorry, 106.6. Okay. We're going to see if I can get this next part right here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're just going to keep up with the next longest. We know all of C now, so we can use the law of cosine, or law of sines. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's try this again. So we have 9 over sine 106.6, and we're going to find B. 7 over sine B. Okay. Here we go. Cross multiply. So we get 9 sine of B equals 7 sine of 106.6. Okay. Divide by 9. Okay. And how do you separate sine and B? 
good job. It is the inverse, so inverse sine of 7 sine of 106.6 over 9. Okay. Calculator, clear, clear, clear. Type just the numerator in. So 7 sine of 106.6, enter. Divided by 9, enter. Second sine, second, the negative. And I get V is 48.2. I know two angles, so we can find big A at 180 minus 106.6 minus 48.2. Okay, so 180 minus 106.6 minus 48.2, and I get 25.2. Okay, I hope this helps. Good luck.